Hi, welcome to another moment with joy. Um, I'm still getting used to doing these go lives with no physical people here. I do them all the time with our ladies, but I have people I'm actually looking at, and so now I'm I'm not sure where to look all the time. Anyways, um, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I hope you are having a great day whenever you are watching this, and I just want you to know. I want you to know this that our God loves you with a never ending, never failing, never quitting love. So never forget that. Um, Today, I want to read to you um, out of Psalm 100, verse 5. And I'm going to first read it in the Amplified. It says, For the Lord is good, His mercy and loving kindness are everlasting, His faithfulness and truth endure to all generations. So if you watched yesterday, we talked about that phrase a lot, For the Lord is good, and His mercy endures forever. And the amazing things that His mercy has done, and His love has done on our behalf, because that word... In the Hebrew, for mercy is also um, translated and could be translated as loving kindness, his love and his grace. I want to also read that to you in the message, and then I'm going to read it to you also in the Passion Translation. It says, For God is sheer beauty, all generous in love, loyal, always and forever. Passion Translation says this, and you're going to love this. For the Lord is always good. And ready to receive you. He is so loving that it will amaze you. So kind it will astound you. And he is famous for his faithfulness toward all. Everyone knows our God can be trusted. For he keeps his promises to every generation. Is that not an amazing concept to think about? That our God is faithful and he is trustworthy always. Um, so I want to share with you a little bit about the gift that we have been given at salvation. This cross right here that I wear often around my neck. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about that. It was a gift from a friend, a secretary when I was working in hospice years and years and years and years ago. I'm not even going to say her name, but um, it was my birthday and she gave me this box and it was beautifully wrapped and on the top of the box was this cross right here and it was like the tag and inside was the gift I and I was thankful for the gift and thankful for this and I kept this and obviously I put it on this chain and I wear it all the time and I, I have always worn it often and I'm telling you years many years later I mean it might have been 10 years I'm not for sure how long it was a lot of years later I was working in a different office and someone was looking at my necklace and they said, oh, Joy, is that a James Avery? And honestly, um, I'm not necessarily a fashionista girl, so I didn't even understand what a James Avery was. And I said, oh, I don't know. Well, so she went to looking it up and you know what? It is a James Avery. This is James Avery who, who does beautiful, beautiful work um, and makes beautiful jewelry. And um, this is like $170 okay I had no idea of the gift that I had been given and all those years later I, I was hoping I was thankful enough at the time not knowing and understanding the gift that I was given I want to say that to say this to you we as it says in Romans 10 9 if you confess with your mouth Jesus is, is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead again in your heart not your head it's a heart belief, not a mental ascent, and they are very, very different things that um, you are saved. And we are given that gift of salvation, and if you've ever seen Curtis's little bookmarkers, they're wonderful, spirit, soul, and body, and that gift of salvation, that incorruptible seed that we've talked about many times in the past, that DNA of God is placed in our spirit man. Our mind, our will, our emotions, our thoughts, our feelings still have to be renewed so that we can um, hopefully see that worked out in our flesh. Well, we have that gift, and it's placed in our spirit. And then, when Jesus was just about to leave, he breathed on his disciples, and he said, Receive the Holy Spirit. And he was very excited. In fact, in John 16, he said, You know, it is good that I'm going, because when I'm going, you are going to receive the gift of Holy Spirit. So he was excited for us to receive that gift of Holy Spirit. And this is what I want you to know. Like my, my parable, I guess you would call it, with my necklace, I was given a very valuable, beautiful, precious gift. I was very thankful for it, but I had no idea what it was. Our daughter, Christina, when she was a little girl, 
I, this is one of my favorite stories of her. Um, I think she was maybe five. I think I think she was about five. And it was Christmas, and um, we had given her this gift for Christmas, and she wrapped it up, and she was so excited, and she looked at it, and she goes, Oh, thank you. It's just what I've always wanted. What is it? You know, and that is so much like us. We've been given this gift, and we have no idea what it is. We have this right here. The word of God and our Jesus uh, Paul said that all the promises all of the promises in here it says that they are yes and amen for you in Christ all of them all of the promises in here there's a lot of promises from Genesis to Revelation there's a lot of promises and he said all of those promises are yes to you if you are in Christ so you have been given a gift we've been given a gift we've looked at it the package is great it's beautiful it's lovely and then oh thanks and then we put it down we put it in the some of us put it in the closet some of us put it down on a table and look at it and say wow what a beautiful gift thanks lord thanks for salvation but we have no we have never opened the box we don't even know what's in it at least my daughter christina was wise enough to say what is it we haven't even asked you know lord you gave me this gift of salvation help me understand what's in it you gave me the gift of holy spirit so, Holy Spirit, help me understand who you are in me and, and who I am in you. Help me know. We don't even ask that. And we continue spending our day, spending our time and our quiet moments with Jesus are often, Oh, Lord, help me do this. Oh, Lord, bless me here. Oh, Lord, bless me here. Bless my idea. Oh, Lord, help me here. Oh, Lord, take away this sickness. Oh, Lord, help me, help me. And, Oh, Lord, bless my kids. And he's always saying, You know what? All of these promises for you, they're yes. They're amen for you because you're in me. And we are so neglectful of that present that he's given us, that gift that he has given us. We are approaching the time of um, Passover and resurrection time. I, and again, we don't call it Easter because Easter is actually a pagan holiday. Um, and they decided to make them coincide in time frame. But if you have not yet seen The Passion of the Christ, I encourage you to see it. Only because it is probably a better picture of what our Jesus went through to provide for you. A yes for all these promises. He was, he was murdered. He was whipped. He was brutalized. He was rejected by his best friends. He, he, was, it was, he went through so much for you. He loves you so much and he wants you to understand the gift of love he's given you so I encourage you to understand that his love for you his mercy his kindness for you is never ending never quitting never failing his love for you drove him to go to the cross for you his love drove him to take all sin for you his love drove him to be whipped for you and take all sickness for you his love drove him to take all the punishment and all the curse all the shame and all the guilt for you and he rose again and conquered all that the enemy had in your behalf because he loves you because he wants you to live in victory forever because he is good and his mercy it endures forever I encourage you to spend some time today not asking him for stuff just loving on Jesus and thanking him for the gift that he is that he's given that he's provided for you God bless you lots of love and hugs and um, always remember that in Christ you are blessed highly favored and you are so very deeply loved and his love for you is never ending his love for you is never quitting his love for you will never fail you god bless you see you later